Now, this is a case that we think should never have been brought. And, um, you know, the evidence in the case we think shows that Troy never stole any money. And the fact of the matter is, an overwhelming number of jurors came out the same way from our discussions with them. Again, 12 different minds see 12 different things. So I can't, I can't speak to the 11 different people that were in there. So, you know, once that happens, when people decide what they decide, they get to send their head. It's kind of how it goes. How long was it that you couldn't come to an agreement on multiple accounts? Was it only just yesterday that you realized that? Or did last week, was it clear to some that it was going to be difficult? We knew it was going to be difficult. When we sat down on day one, we knew it was going to be difficult. So, you know, and just constantly staying with it and doing what we could do to try to come to an agreement, you know, is what we did. Uh, we were told over and over again this was a simple case, that this was uh, all about stolen money money laundering, tax charges, and, you know, I think the jury's uh, inability to come to a verdict on all the counts and then the not guilty count on the one tax count shows to us that, you know, Troy's on the right path toward vindication. I really have no personal feelings against him. Um, you know, I, I don't know what, you know, I can't judge a man by, you know, the way he runs his business if I don't know what his business is.